Hey everybody, so this is going to be a lesson video on how to play the guitar solos from Sweet Jane off Lou Reed's 2008 live album, Live at St. Anne's Warehouse. It's a really good album if you haven't heard it. He plays the Berlin album uh, from back in the 70s in its entirety with some of the original band, including Steve Hunter, the guy who played the on the original recordings. He's playing this solo. And my version might not be 100% accurate, but I know it's at least good enough for Steve Hunter because I sent it to him and he gave me a thumbs up. Quick note on the chord progression that we're going to be playing over. It's not exactly like the chord progression on the original studio recording of Sweet Jane off the Loaded album. That one goes like this. It goes B minor, A, D. This one leaves out the B minor and replaces that with just a G. So it goes G, A, D. We're going to be playing over this. Opening lick of the first solo goes like this. I'll try and play it slow and exaggerate my little finger movements here so you can see what I'm doing. Now in this part we have some interesting passing notes and bends here, so watch carefully. So that's frets on the B string, 8, 9, 10. And then on the G string you do a bend on the 10th and 9th fret going down to the 7th. It's like you're bending to the 4th and the 3rd in the scale, so it's like... Now he switches to the D, the D position up an octave here, so it goes... Nice little bend, goes like this. This part can be a little tricky because you have to bend the note and stop it. It's a little more of an advanced bend technique, but it goes like this. So, on the high E string, you're gonna grab the 17th fret, bend it up to what would be the 19th, so... But then you stop yourself and come back down, hit the 17th. Next comes this part, and it's a little trickier because you have to do a three-note bend, which is a pretty big bend. It's like a David Gilmore bend. And that's also high E string, 17th fret. It's like you're going to be bending it to the 20th fret. So it's nice and slow with that. You don't have to totally reach the 20th fret, but as long as you get close. Nice, nice big like that. Played slowly. Almost done with the first solo. Next part goes like this. Played slowly, goes like this. So it's uh, you're sliding up to the 10th fret on the B and E strings. Then he finishes it with this kind of weird slide down from
that slide on the D string from the ten, uh, 12th to 10th fret. Then on the A string, frets 10, and you bend the 8th. That's how the first solo goes. The second solo is a bit trickier, so pay close attention. The first part goes like this. I always kind of mess that part up. I'll explain in one second. Um, so played slowly, it's... Then there's a little pre-bend here. This part is tricky up here on the high E string. You're playing frets 9 and 10, but you're playing them in a way where it's almost like ghost notes, like the little, not really pinch harmonics, but I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what he's doing, but you can fake it. And this is what I did on my video. You grab the pick really close and you go in and try and like that. Maybe not exactly right, but sounds close enough. This next part is also tricky. So after the ghost notes, you go like this. I'll explain that. Let's play it slow. Okay, so this little lick, I actually really like playing this once you get the hang of it. You have to play it fast, which is the tricky part. But it's on, it starts on the B string, goes frets 10, 9, 8, G string, uh, minor third pull off here from frets 10 to 7, ends, and it ends on the D string fret 9. It goes like this. It's tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's kind of fun to play. So you play that lick twice. Then after the second time, you go. One more time, played nice and slow. This next part, this little ascending run he does, was also a pain in the ass to learn, but also really cool once you get it down. Played slowly. It's actually kind of easy, but played slowly, it's... So there's three parts of this. The first goes... Sounds fast, but you're really just sliding up to the 12th frets on the A and the D strings, playing them like this. Next part is you slide up on the A string to the 15th fret, and you also play the 12th fret on the D string. So it goes. Last part goes like this. Slide up to the 17th fret on the A string. That little that's a little in-between note. That's the 16th fret on the D string. This next part goes like this. Played slowly, it goes. So the trickiest part here is this bend. Um, So it's on the B string 17th fret, he's bending up to the 19th fret, so it's a half step bend. And then he throws in a three note bend right after that. It's kind of like before how we were going, but he's doing that on one string. Next, we go like this. And that is supposed to be in the song. So, played slowly, it goes like this. Uh, 
you may recognize that little sequence of notes from earlier in this part of the solo when we went like this. Same thing, just played up here, an octave higher. Also kind of tricky, but sounds really cool once you get it right. Like that. Right after that tricky little run, we have this part. That open B string is supposed to be in there. It's part of the performance and it sounds like this. Kind of acts as like an exclamation point. Like, hey, pay attention. Played slowly, it sounds like this. Once more, nice and slow. All right, we're almost at the end. The closing part of the solo goes like this. Played nice and clear for you, it's... This part is a major second interval played on the D and G strings, frets, 10 on the D string and frets 7 on the G string. Sounds like that, nice and stanky. Then on the D string you slide down from the 10th fret to the 7th, 5th, pull off on the 3rd. Now finally on the A string you go open, 3, open, 7th fret, bend. So it ends on the, actually ends on the same little bend that the first part of the solo ended. Give a nice, nice symmetry there. Well, there you go. Thank you for watching. That was my first guitar lesson video on this channel. Like I said, I didn't plan on doing lesson videos, but if you enjoyed this, um, I could do plenty other ones, especially in uh, the Lou Reed and Velvet Underground songbook, because I'm a huge fan of those guys. Um, but if you enjoyed this, let me know. So thank you for watching. See ya.